If you want to decode a working key, select Search, Vehicle Keys, Vehicle Make, Model, and Year. For this example, I'm going to do a Ford. F-150, model year 2014. So notice it uses card 612, so I'm going to open the card. And on the right-hand menu, I'm going to select Decoding. Notice that the clamp side it calls for is clamp side A. I would normally cut this key using clamp C. But when decoding a key, you must use the clamp side designated by the software. The reason it is telling us to use clamp side A is because the software does not know the dimensional information of the key that we are attempting to decode. Therefore, the default is clamp side A. Since this key is cut on both sides, we don't have a straight edge to use when loading the key. So there's a possibility that we may not get the key lined in the jaw properly to allow for an accurate decoding. Notice the eye icon next to article. Whenever you see this icon in the software, it means that there's more information available. So if you tap on the eye, to solve installation difficulties encountered with symmetrical vehicle keys on side A or B of the standard clamp, the user may select the key blank before decoding the key. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to go in under this drop down box and I'm just going to select an H72 EK3. Notice the clamp side changed from A to C. So I'm going to load the key in clamp C. Since it's stop 4, I'm going to put in my tip stop 4 key. Remember, I'm going to load the key so that it's riding that ridge. Move your tip stop four. Lower your mobile tracer. Lower the shield. Select start. When it's decoding, the tracer will go into each space designated by the software and measure the depth of each cut. These are the cuts that it measured, and 0084X is the indirect code associated with those cuts. If you want to cut the key, simply tap cut, and it takes you back to the screen to show you how to load the blank. Load your blank, hit start, and it will cut your blank to code 0084X.